Hey guys, Claude Diamond here with another gut sales tip and as it relates to real estate, um, I've done other videos, Tenant from Hell videos. I was watch, uh, reading uh, on Facebook this morning uh, a posting uh, from an investor, um, I think I can say his name, Mark Boyd. Anyway, let me read you his uh, posting here. Uh, this person needs to be exposed. I rent my property to her and she has not been paying rent. I tried to work with her. I allowed my heart to get in the way of business being that she has kids and so, and I knew her. So after three months of trying to work with her, I had no choice but to start the eviction process. I spent a tremendous amount of money to rehab the property, 12,000. She has not paid rent. She violated the lease by getting a pit bull uh, and she's behind $7,000 and attorney fees and costs. Now she's filing bankruptcy and, and it just goes on and on and on. And um, one of the things I love to share, I think a good mentor, whoever you're going to, any program you're taking, they need to share their mistakes. Mistakes are actually more valuable in your education and then hearing all the motivational uh, I got rich quick stories. Uh, the whole point is to shorten the learning curve and avoid traditional mistakes that people make that I made um, on it. I've often talked about uh, Martin and Morticia Satanowski, the tenants from hell. When you get a tenant, first of all, don't do business with people you know. Uh, it, it's just uh, not if you, friends and family, uh, the old adage is don't do business with friends and family if you want to keep them, okay? Your standards change. You, you're not as aggressive. You're not as business-like. Uh, you're, you're, uh, you become more emotional. We all know the million-dollar rule. When you become emotional, you make mistakes. Stay intellectual. When you're renting to people, don't give them the keys. Don't give them access to the property until you verify a few things. First of all, of course, money, real cash money. Don't let them into the property till you have confirmed funds transferred. Cash is wonderful, uh, wire transfer, uh, credit cards, things like that are all fine. Make sure you have signed documents that it's non-refundable. These monies are for the rental of the property. Um, number two, confirm employment. Make sure they're currently employed because the logic says if they're not employed, they can't pay you. Um, I don't. I don't even want to get into Section Eight on that. I don't do Section Eight, and I'll do another video on that some other time. Uh, life is too short to do Section Eight, in my opinion. Call me if you want to discuss it. I know there's gurus with whole seminars on the government-supported programs. I don't like them. Uh, I just don't make enough money for the hassle and the government red tape and, and everything else. Um, so confirm employment. Look at employment history. Uh, on there, how many, uh, when they do the, your application and make them do an application up front, make them put a deposit with the application up front. Um, make sure they have a consistent job history. If they change their jobs, like you change your underwear, you do change your underwear, don't you? Um, and make sure they, they have been consistent on their um, employment. And that goes for spouses or significant others too. Uh, check their credit. Credit is, uh, the credit report is still the, the window to the world about their, uh, their ability to pay other people. If they don't pay MasterCard on time, if they don't have MasterCard, it stands to reason they're not going to pay you on time. So avoid these problems. I know nobody wants a vacant property, but the trouble is there's some professional scam artists out there. They get in your property and they can stay literally, depending on what state you're in, for months up to a year sometimes for free if they know how to manipulate the system. Make sure you get enough money up front, confirm employment, confirm, check the credit rating, and it'll work a lot better. And then do lease purchasing anyway, where you get a lot more money up front rather than a refundable deposit that's why lease purchasing works so much better you get a better you, a little somebody a little higher on the food chain this is Claude Diamond I do answer my own phone 970-281-5151 follow me on Facebook um, by the way uh, because I'm gonna have be having a few uh, announcements pretty soon interesting announcements 970-281-5151 uh, nobody nobody deserves success more than you guys take care